Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 first round. We've got some chorfs with booty coached by Booty Juice and Dwarves coached by Dionysian the legend. Um, let's see. Yep, so we've got <laughs> we've got a pro pommer versus a pro claw pommer. Yep, this uh, it's funny because it's it's a really pretty nice dwarf team um, and a really pretty not nice chaos dwarf team. However, the Chaos Dwarves do have a claw pawn, so uh, Chaos Dwarves have got a bribe. They've hardly got any guard, hardly got any mighty blow, hardly got any stand firm, but they do have a claw pawn. I wonder who will win this. Very good. <laughs> Is that an advantage though, Fry? I think it's not an advantage. I think Nolly will wilt on the big stage. Chalice Nerves will take a hold. Whereas PC, the old veteran, will be right at home. He'll do all the right things. And he'll win. Easily. Like Chu Soon Hoon or whatever his name is. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> There's one just for just for Matthew Nadal. Um, yeah, Jimmy on team being there. Well, no, I think it's it's not it's not a physical game, is it? Try, <laughs> like you know, there's not a physical element to Blood Bowl. If there was, then yes, be, being younger would be better. But there's no there's no like reaction speed or anything, is there? Like, I guess there's some age element in the, you know, if you're really old, you get, uh, you get worse. But PC isn't actually that old, is he? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Game of Vision, yeah. With three minute turns, I would suggest there's time for a quick nap in most of them. Four, you summoned him, try, thank you. Hello, PC. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, yeah, there's not really a, there's not really an age element, is there? Apart from the nerves and stuff, that's it, isn't it? And then, like being there and experience. So yeah, I would say definitely better to be older than younger in Blood Bowl. <laughs> I, I think it's an odd one. Uh, yes, I do think experience does count a bit. Um, that said, you know, Nolly's got obviously the team, so. I don't think he'll feel at a disadvantage through experience. They've very much been there and done that, Nolly, haven't they? So, or at least they tell themselves that. Yeah, they tell themselves that. But I, I happen to know that uh, Purple Chest has won more Blood Bowl tournaments that online than any <laughs> other human being. Well, I mean, that does appear to be true as a brag. Um, but, you know, a lot of them were on Fumble years ago using different rule sets and things, and many of them not. You can be my wingman any time. Other people in them, but it's... Bullshit. You can be mine. I used to work for a magazine that called itself the biggest selling PC magazine in Britain because it was slightly physically... Fuck off, damn it. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, you know, words can mean anything, can't they? Yep. And uh, thank you very much, Dimmy G. What an absolute legend. Massive raid. Dimmy the champ. Hello. He's been playing his blood bowls, haven't you, Dimmy? What a lunatic. Why, why, why have you been playing Blood Bowl to me? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, dear. Don't younger players tend to take over in chess, do they? Isn't it still Magnus Carlsen, just because he's the best? Do younger players take over in chess? I find that hard to believe. There's certainly an age limit at which if it's felt you're not, you know, over, say, 45, I don't think you're a top chess person anymore. Oh, now look at this. This is very unusual for Dionysian. Yeah, very bold. Taking the space this early is uh, is not necessarily something we associate with him. No. And it is leaving quite a lot of dwarfs behind. Of course, just to the right of this uh, this running away dwarf pack is a whole line of stand firm on both sides. And obviously, if he gets mired in that, then he never moves forward. So he is taking the space while it's there. And proing this? I like it, Jim. Of course, you like it, PC. But no, I like it as well. It's... It, you've got to you've got to take the space when you can't have any of his chaos. I'm surprised he stood firm. Oh, I'm surprised he's taking that hit. 
Yeah, I'm well, surprised push, he stood firm. don't stand firm and you right up into the cage. Yeah, but he did stand firm. He chose the power and he did stand firm. I just, why would you stand firm there? That's weird, isn't I it? Think that, yeah, I think standing firm was also a mistake, but I, I'm not sure I'd have taken the hit. No, I wouldn't have done. Yeah. That's, I mean, poker's different, right? Because the game has changed in, in Doyle Brunson's lifetime. So that's, like, that's not really fair. And I guess put chess is changed in like you know people who are old now's lifetime as well so that's a little bit different as well isn't it you know those two things are a bit those two things yes, are a bit poker essentially professionalized once online poker brought the maths nerds in yeah basically well it's a, a very obvious foul fight this isn't it mm. I mean, Dio's team is very nice and tight, but it's not that long. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he's trying to whittle it down. Yeah, he's, got, he's got 13, so it's not bad. Okay, yeah. That's, that's not bad. What, um, what it has done, of course, that, that attempt at the, the big old foul, is it's completely let this, uh, this breakaway touchdown attempt just go. Yeah. The Chorfs have said, fine, if you want an early score, you can have it. And yeah. Dio has said, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> yeah, but also, and also, Try, you're comparing, like, sports, if you want to call poker or chess sports, activities, whatever they are, games, Past that, times. that actually have good players. <laughs> like, good, like, really world-class professional players. Like, at a super high level. Whereas, like, nobody is anywhere approaching a high level of Blood Bowl to, like, that extent, right? Not on the same stratosphere as chess or poker. There's nobody nor, like that. Nor should any of us kid ourselves that if there is the sort of money involved in Blood Bowl that there is in chess or poker, that those of us that are, you know, thought to be quite good at the game would be anywhere near the top. Yes. <laughs> a better, smarter generation of people would come along to the game and take all our monies. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you mean. Like the the if if someone like Magnus Carlsen had dedicated his life to Blood Bowl instead yes, of chess, he'd, he'd be he better. Would be the be best. Chess. Yes, he would definitely be the best. <laughs> obviously. But you know, I'm pretty good at poker, so. <laughs> so if you devoted your life to chess, you think you could probably take on Magnus Carlsen? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> But if I devoted my life to poker, I think I would have made a lot of money. I just didn't want to. Well, I wouldn't have made a lot of money because yeah, the problem with po the problem with poker is you've got to play at stakes that aren't aren't good. <laughs> Basically, you've got to you've got to play like beyond beyond what's sensible, or you've got yeah, to get very lucky. To really make a living at it, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I problem. found when I was playing a lot of poker. I was putting a lot of time in, and I was earning money, but at a rate that meant you know I'd be better off getting a job at McDonald's, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> so this is tactically quite interesting. I mean, are the Chorfs going to settle for just trying to remove some dwarves? Or are they weird. actually going to pressure this stall at any point? Yeah, they, re they should have pressured it last turn. They should have had mad pressure last turn. This is insane not pressuring the stall, and Booty just deserves to lose 100 million percent. Unless 40. every single player, unless every single player he has left to activate is coming back towards this before, he deserves to lose 100 million percent to Corp Daedal. Yeah, there's not enough to really feel that Dionysian could hold his stall out if it was pressured. Um, and yet, he definitely can right now. Yeah. Terrible. This is terrible. You can't move this guy here. You have to bring everything back. It had to be back last turn. It's not even going back. It's just fouling. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. It's a foul choice, not a not a pressure choice. Which means you're not going to get your four turns to drive back. Which with two bulls you should be looking to do, even if they don't have break time. You can still tie up enough dwarves that you should feel in four turns you can find a way to try and potato the two bulls with the yeah. ball in one of their hands and perhaps be one one at the half. When the ball goes forward this early, it's it's the obvious response. But instead, he's trying to remove dwarves. Yeah. Well, he's got one. 
And the apple's gone. It's interesting, you know, may maybe Booty Juice thinks that Booty Juice is nowhere near as good as Dionysian and he can't score back and forth. And the only way that Booty Juice can win is by claw pumming things and fouling things and then reducing Dionysian, you know, to like seven players by overtime winning overtime. And that might be correct. So this might be correct, you know. <laughs> well, I was actually on the channel a little before I came on with you, Jim. I was briefly trying to play a game of Blood Bowl. It didn't go very well. Um, the person didn't have a very lucky turn one and also wasn't very good at Blood Bowl and conceded turn two. I thought that was a sign, so I thought I'd come on here instead. But I did hear you talk about the pace of ghouls compared to the pace of dwarves. Um, and you're not wrong. Dwarves are terribly slow. And as I said, you know, you, it doesn't take that much to tie up enough of them. The bulls have a chance of breaking free, even in four turns. So to not pressure this storm. Oh no, I mean now again he's going the wrong way. Yeah. He's just completely ignoring them. Yeah, this is not what I would have done. But there you go. This is the thing though, it could be, you know, and it could be right, you know? Yeah. Like if if uh if somebody who isn't very good at well no, it doesn't even have to be in but somebody it could be Dio. <laughs> if Dio plays poker with Phil Ivy <laughs> His best way to win is probably just by going all in every hand blind, <laughs> right? Because if he tries to outplay him, he'll fail. Like that's it, isn't it? So he, his best chance is probably by yes. playing terribly, right? So, so or, or certainly taking high risk maneuvers at times and trying to surprise Phil Ivy with things he can't read. Yes. Yeah. So this might actually, this this might be, but you know, might... just might be playing well here, and he might have correct, correctly identified that Booty Juice cannot beat Dionysian by playing properly, and he's just trying to wreck his team and win in overtime. And this might be the rest. This might be correct for him. It might be. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're not wrong, Jim, and I can't tell you that you are, obviously, because you know we will see. It might be that that's the way that this can get done. Um, it's. I don't ever feel that's a great plan, eh? No. Particularly when you've got the claw on your side. No, I don't. And I mean, I'm with you. You know, both of us, both, I mean, both I, of yeah, us, I, would think we'd have a shot at beating Dionysian if we scored him in, if we forced him into score in turn four, right? If yeah. we, if we had like even this kind of substandard chaos dwarf team, if we had this chaos dwarf team. And it is we a could, awful team. It really is, yeah. Like to be fair, to be fair to Pages, this is not a good chaff team. If we've got, even if we've got this kind of subpar chaff team, if we think we can get him, force him in on turn four, give ourselves five turns to score, we reckon yeah. we can beat him two one in normal time. And yeah. and and you know that's usually what we're going to think against most people as well, right? We can, but I mean, but, anyone can. I mean, I, I well, in that case, I I fear that the the coaching lesson needed by the opponent here is that he's in a two-person game and anyone can win it. It's not, you know, chess or tennis where someone much more dominant is absolutely going to smash you to pieces because there's such high variance in Blood Bowl. And you need to read that game state and say, actually, yes, I thought I was just going to foul them to pieces, and, but now I've got an opportunity to force them in early and you know, get the momentum back on my side and maybe actually win through Blood Bowl. Perhaps I'll try that. Yeah. But just my opinion. I mean, you, I can't say that you're wrong. Perhaps just smashing Dionysian off the pitch is his route to victory. Um, he has caught the apo, but nothing else so far. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, I, and I'm you're saying I'm right. I mean, I don't agree with it. I'm just saying it's that it could be what he thinks, and it, it could. Yes, be what no, I'm, I'm saying maybe you're you're theorising as to what he is thinking is right, and yeah. maybe he is right in that thinking. Yeah, it's possible, isn't it? It's possible. It's Anything's the, possible. One of the great things about Blood Bowl, I mean, we're we. I think what we're saying is there is a what we feel is a better route to success. But that this route to success is still a route there. It's not Yeah. It's not insane for him to be trying this as an idea. Yeah. <laughs> He's reduced them to thirteen dwarfs, so it's not completely working. True. <laughs> True. I mean, he, it's not that he was shit. Like he had to make a conscious decision to not pressure the stall and go for Kaz. Yes. If like if that was him trying to like defend then he's unimaginably shit and should never have ever qualified for chalice in a million years yeah. right like no one well, can be that bad to qualify for chalice surely he, he has just put his sole claw palm piece right out unguarded with nothing to stop Dionysian just mass fouling it apart from Dionysian doesn't have a turn oh it's turn 8 yes of course. <laughs> okay. right. apart from that but yeah, yeah apart from that in that case it's fine <laughs> And, if, I mean, is it going to work when he's got one claw and one claw pop and two shit bulls? 
All right. Well, looking at his win rate may be a right try. <laughs> <laughs> no offence, but he just don't watch the VOD. <laughs> and who knows, he might not have even qualified because th this, this, this season has been a, a mess, right, with the qualifications. This season has been an absolute mess. There's no Kislev team, there's no Olga it's team. It's been a joyful festival of people who didn't expect to get in having wonderful good news. Yeah, and people who did expect to not to get in, not even be contacted in any way. <laughs> well, I celebrate some randomness in life, Jim. There's too much that we know what's coming. Mm. Well, that's a that's a nice result for Dio, isn't it? Yeah, so he's one 0 up, and he's got a blitz with the ball landing just over the line, so it won't be a touchback. Mm. Well, probably not. <laughs> Pro I mean, probably not, yes. I mean, the only good thing here is that the Slayer is the other side of the pitch. Oh. However, the Agility 4 Dwarf looks quite likely to be underneath the... Um... Oh, no, no, I'm a break. Removal! Oh. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, everything's coming up Dio, isn't it? Yeah, it, it this was all inevitable, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my God, that is brutal. Right. I mean, the only thing with that is I don't know why he followed up because now he can't put the agility piece on it. Oh, he's going to do the two pluses. Yeah, just do it. Gotcha. Yeah, fine. Pretty sick. Attrition plan's working for someone, yep. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? It is a dice game. And, uh, yep. Yep. That's, that's wrong. No, that's, no, no. Oh, what are you doing? Wow, yeah, it doesn't well, stand firm. No, you drop back in the pocket. There's a lot of good scatters in the pocket. Yeah. And gets one of them. Of course he does. Instantly. Disgusting. Hello, old sandwich. Well, I mean, on the plus side, because you are sounding tired, Jim, this is 100% over. <laughs> uh, no, it's not over. Don't say it's yeah, over. It no, it is. <laughs> Anything I mean, I love happen. watching the Anissian lose as much as. No, I don't think anyone loves it as much as me. <laughs> but, uh... Or art, mate. <laughs> okay, perhaps. <laughs> but it's, it isn't going to happen. That's not going to be how this works out. Art will probably be watching this. <laughs> With his pants down and a leak out. <laughs> yeah. A large tub of hand sanitizer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Some wool. <laughs> I imagine he will have uh, worn out his pause button by now as well. Yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean this. These, oh, it's, it's, this is so. Over. <laughs> I've seen a match so over since the PC versus Nolly Chalice match. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Yes, that is probably over too. Yep. Yeah, but they, it, that's going to be good, isn't it? Because that's going to be exactly the kind of thing of, you know, it looks over, right? And and PC knows how bad it is, so he's going to have to try and do things to make yeah. it work. So it's going to be interesting. Super interesting. Well, my dwarves are going to have to be the elves, aren't they, Jim? In my yeah. much last question, who's the orcs and who's the elves? The answer is, in that one, I'm the elves. Mm. There's yeah. been a lot of dub skulls. Not that I give a damn, because it hasn't really affected anything, but there has been a lot. Yeah. The, the good thing about your draws being the elves is your draws are movement six, aren't they? So you've got that going for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, not unfortunately, because you know we only have a limited number of rerolls, and they are, of course, our dodge skill uh, in this particular matchup. So we're going to have to be less ambitious with the pace, and perhaps more so with the dodging. Diced. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. That's on Sunday, is it, did you say? I, I think it's going to be Sunday, sort of midday-ish, and then Sunday evening there'll be a One World, One Blood Bowl. Mm -hmm. Glorious. I say midday-ish, I mean, you know, sort of 2pm, I'm not insane. Yeah, <laughs> good. There'll be, a, there'll, be a, there'll be a Five Idiots as well on Sunday, there you go. So it might be... Well, might so be... I hear, so I, I want to get it out of the way before that. Um, and obviously, you know, I've heard you've moved it a little earlier, which is very nice. Um, not that I think there's a lot of crossover between Five Idiots and One World, One Blood Bowl, but, you know... 
every uh, every pair of eyes is vital. Mmm, be glorious. Glorious guys, the five idiots could be really good on Sunday. I'm very happy. And I do have a plan, of course. I mean, you know. Yeah. There are there are ways in which I win that game, but they're very unlikely. But they're worth playing for. A cunning plan, indeed. Well, it's not particularly cunning, but it, it, it sort of passes the muster as a plan. And I'll settle for that, frankly, because, <laughs> you know... He's going to make the surf this turn, look. He's going to be so excited to make this surf. Uh, when you this. face a tsunami and someone offers you armbands, you still say yes. <laughs> like, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny that, that you know, because obviously Dion knew he was going to get surfed and that, and just yeah. didn't care because it stops, no. it stops him getting to here, and it's like... Yeah. When he scores this, it's touchdown. The game is over, and his opponent just doesn't seem. They've still got the goal. ball at all. <laughs> they can still get served easier than other pieces because they're less likely to end up in the KO box or the injury box. Yeah. Um, I mean, less likely in the KO box because the thick skull. Yeah. Yeah. So it's more fine. chance to get Kaz than KO, isn't there, for a uh, dwarf? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And also, it wasn't a dwarf he particularly gave a fuck about. And Correct. the balls are terrible. There we are. Something Ooh. actually nice from the Chorf coach. Wow. Dio was not expecting that. No. Go on, go on, be brave. Wow, you can clear both these, and maybe he, maybe he was a little bit because he had the ball on him, and he's got him out. To... Dio does does like the not really caring about getting the ball carrier sack, doesn't he? That's his. That's his. As big long as thing. he can recover it. Um, yeah. Which is, it's fine, it's, you know, it's, it's very much what Space Cadet means. Yeah. It, you know, it doesn't mean your ball should be given to the opponent, ha ha ha, it's nothing to do with the game. What they mean is it can be sacked sometimes as long as you feel, you know, it's still within your control. Yeah. If there's other more important things you should be doing on the pitch, which, I mean, Space is usually wrong. But, I mean, there's, sometimes <laughs> there's a point in that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is still much better to have the ball in your hand than on the floor, which is why Dia did and tried to pick it up again. Yes. No, it's, I wouldn't have stood that hobgoblin up because it's right quite sexily in just one um, tackle zone. I know he doesn't have a reroll, but three plus four plus to save the game might be worth trying. Whereas mm -hmm. with that, yeah, oh dear. Yeah, he's got the double skulls. One, two, three, he really has had a lot of dub skulls. Yeah, he um, has. Yeah, he's been. Quite and I hope. Happy. I hope he doesn't booty juice take away from this. I had a lot of dub skulls, but also that his plan was terrible. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, he did have very poor luck, but he had poor luck attempting to do something that didn't look very likely to work. Yes. Or rather, not attempting something that looked very likely to work. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but he it definitely has had a lot of dub skulls, and that that's worth mentioning because anyone that you know faces that many dub skulls in a game is going to feel harshly treated. Yeah. Oh, that, thank you, Samaj. Yeah, I forgot I didn't. I didn't put PC on the screen. Samaj, it is I, Kalon. <laughs> Be Jesus. Ta 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 ta. -ta. <laughs> well, I nearly put Kalon on then. <laughs> there we go. Look. <laughs> And yeah, now it's over, isn't it? I know it was already over, but now yes, I mean, yeah, now it is definitely a hundred percent over. There is no even mathematical chance of this stopping unless Dionysian has some brave plan. Oh, and let's get a completion on this guy to put him to forty-eight, and then hand off back to him probably. Yeah, to make him fifty-one. And yeah, just past the turn there. Booty juice, which is obviously perfect for for Dio because he could have had a uh, you know claw pump hits here, could have taken a Randall Kaz. I was going to say, isn't that a three chalice burn? Nah, all those it's... future chalices were all definitely taken. <laughs> I think this one isn't so bad. I think when when it happened, it was like actively like you know kind of helping his opponent. Right, he was like doing three D uphills and stuff, and like picking a skull on like a pushing a skull and stuff. You know, the guy who who got it. I guess I, I wasn't kidding. But yeah, it I did know. occur to me I, I, know, could, for I, people. Could, for people I could at concede home. turn one against Nolly, couldn't I? You could and do, just, yeah. I'd just go, well, I'm off to Blood Bowl 3 anyway, so shove you your bat. Bye. You could, you could do that. 
Um, but there you go. Commiserations to Booty Juice and congratulations Indeed. to Dionysian. Thank you very much for, for coming on, PC. Lovely to have you in the booth. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>